Back here at home, our coverage continues with a historic Augusta building going up in flames. Happening right now, fire crews are monitoring hot spots at Pullman Hall on Walton Way, and that is where we find WJBF News Channel 6's Wes Cooper. Wes, it's been a long night for firefighters. Yeah, Mary, they've been working diligently and hard all night long to make sure that all the hot spots here at Pullman Hall are put out. Right now, you can see a crane apparatus on one of the fire trucks behind me. Up top is a firefighter spraying water on the hot spots from a bird eye view. Now, miraculously, no one was injured, and a spokesperson from the fire department tells us that no one was inside of the building at the time of the fire. Now, first responders rushed to the scene around 5 yesterday afternoon where they saw Pullman Hall completely engulfed in flames. The Sheriff's Department was also out here directing traffic as firefighters battled the blaze. The fire also caused the power to go out for several hours, but right now it is back on. To many, Pullman Hall was a catering and banquet facility. The building was remodeled in the 80s, and way back in the day, Pullman Hall used to be a train depot. A witness tells us that losing this building is a tragedy. It's really sad. It's it's heartbreaking. Uh, you know, we don't know how it started, what happened, uh, but just seeing a piece of history go up in flames is very poignant. Authorities are still searching to determine the cause of the fire. Stay up to date on WJBF.com on this developing story, as well as our social media pages. Just search for WJBF. Live in downtown Augusta, I'm Wes Cooper reporting for WJBF News Channel 6. Back to you.